School years just started. Some districts begin next week. We've reported numerous times about a bus driver shortage and how it's impacting students getting to school. First News reporter Kyle Alexander has more. It's the first week of school and they're stressed and rushed. Boardman Local Schools is short staffed with bus drivers. Transportation Supervisor Ryan Dunn says the shortage is the worst it's been in years. We're short and, you know, there's just, it, we're going to be in trouble for the rest of the school year if, if something doesn't budge. So, how is this shortage impacting bus drivers? Well, they may have to drive more routes than what they're used to, and some districts may be calling on other workers in the district to start driving buses. Myself driving every day, as well as sometimes our, my assistant Kathy. Since we were so short, I got a third tier. So, that puts me in to another category of how it worked. Christopher Mendenhall has driven buses in Boardman for 16 years. Adding another route to his schedule adds another hour of bus driving. It also took him five years to become a school bus driver, but now the shortage has sped up the process of becoming a bus driver, which many drivers have to pay for themselves. If you become a sub with us now, I say within six months to a year, you might have a contract. The shortage has caused drivers to be late to bus stops, upsetting some parents about getting their kids to school on time. Drivers want parents to know nothing can be done until more drivers come aboard. It's not that we're doing it on purpose, but it's just the, the beast of the nature right now. Boardman Local Schools will continue looking for more drivers. In Boardman, Kyle Alexander, WKBN 27 First News.